let us understand the default values for arrays. So here, as you can see, I have declared an array with a size of three. So it will have three elements in it. Now I'm going to look at the element at position one. What do you think will be the default value for an integer at that position for an array? So if I run this program, what you will find is that the array returns zero at this position because by default, whenever you declare integers, the default value for integers is zero. Now we have another example, but this time notice that the data type is string. What do you think is going to happen now? Is the value at position one going to return zero, an empty string or a null? So if I run this program here and let's find out what we get. So as you can see, this was our first value because the default for an integer is zero. But here we are getting nothing back. There is something there, but we don't know what it is. So how do we check this? So here, what you can do is you can check it with a null. So is the value in the element that we selected, is that equal to null? So let's find out by running this program. And as you can see, the value here is true because the value in here at the first element is equal to null. So the default value for strings is null. You can also use the null coalescing operator here. And what this does is, if the element on the left hand side is null, then it will return whatever is on the right hand side. But if the element is not null on this side, it will return this side and ignore this side. So this is a quick shorthand and it's known as the null coalescing operator. So it's always going to return stuff on left if it is not null, but if it is null, then it's going to return this side. So if I run this program, so as you can see here, got it's null here if the element here is null and you can see it's printed it's null over here now let's take a look at this example here we are declaring a, an array of the following values and then we are declaring another array and we are copying the values from the first one over to the second one what do you think will happen when i set d which is the second array to be and the first element element at position zero equal to 100 what do you think will happen to the one at c when i print it so at c this element do you think it will change Change because I've changed this one in the second variable or do you think it will stay the same so let's have a look so if I run this program and as you can see the element for C that's the first array has changed to 100 even though we change the element for D at 0 this is because arrays when you do this when you say D is equal to C it just copies the reference or the address of the location where the variable values exist so all this is doing is copying the address even though it's referring to a different variable name and then when you modify it and then you try and print the result of the first one then you get the output of 100.